Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps that you can use to bring back the classic start menu on Windows 11. As you know, Microsoft is preparing Windows 11 with a new start menu that is similar to the one that the company has been working for Windows 10X, which is more straightforward and it floats above the taskbar with rounded corners and features traditional icons and recent documents. Although the menu has a new fresh design, it is now something that everyone likes. So if you feel more comfortable with the classic start menu, currently there is a way that you can bring it back, but it is unclear if the option is going to stay forever. So if you want to enable the classic start menu with light tiles on Windows 11, use these steps. Before we move on, I just want to make it clear that to do this, you need to edit the registry. And that is not a recommended thing to do on any computer because if you do it wrong, it can damage the installation. So use these steps at your own risks. With that out of the way, now let's go to the steps to enable the classic start menu on Windows 11. Open start and then look for registry and select the registry editor. Then navigate to this path, current user, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, explore in advance. Then right click the advanced folder, select new and click the D word 32 bit value. Then name the D word star underscore show classic mode. Make sure there is no space in between and press enter. Then double click the new D word and change the value from 0 to 1 and click OK. Now to play the changes, simply restart the computer. Now when you open the start menu, you are going to get the all experience. If you want the icons on the touchpad aligned to the left, simply go to the settings tab and then on personalization, touchpad and taskbar alignment, select the left option. And now you have a more traditional experience using the all start menu. If you want to revert the changes, simply open the registry again, navigate to the same path, and then look for the D word that you created and either delete it or set the value to zero. then restart the computer to apply the changes. Once you're back into the desktop, you will now see that you have the new start menu back. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.